everybody. This is the new Take 10 with Terry. I am Terry and we are in my garage. And you might wonder, why in the world are we in my garage? Well, I have a little story to tell you about my very, very messy garage. My very cluttered and messy garage. So, there were plenty of days when I walked out here and I looked and I turned around and I walked right back in the house because it was just too overwhelming to think about cleaning up this entire garage. It's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of junk. So I decided to take my own advice and do 10 minutes at a time, literally 10 minutes. So I would come out here and I would baby step it and I would take one tiny little corner or one tiny little piece and clear it out. Got rid of a lot of things, gave them away, and then I could start to organize and clean. So this is what I'm telling you about your fitness. This is how it relates to fitness. It's a metaphor, get it? So your fitness, you might think, I had an injury, I haven't been to the gym in a while, I don't even know how to get started. It's too much, it's just too overwhelming. And you might also think, like I sometimes did when I came out here, if I can't do it all at once, I'm not gonna bother. But I think the problem is, with trying to do all this at once, it just wasn't gonna happen. It's too physically taxing. I might have injured myself. It's just too much. So, same for your fitness. You don't wanna injure yourself. You wanna do little things that will encourage you to keep going. So, I'll show you a few things that I did, literally in 10 minutes. So, I decided I was gonna focus on this particular corner. So, one day, I just cleared everything away so that I would have sort of a blank canvas. And maybe that's the day that you decide to go for a nice walk around your, your neighborhood. Um, then I came back out the next time and I put some nails across this board and I just hung these little lights just to get them up off the floor. They were in a pile over in the other end of the garage. So that's it, that's all I did. And then I walked back in the house and I decided next 10 minutes, I'll do something else. So then I came out and I got my picnicking movie in the park stuff together, put those nails in, hung up my little seat cushions, my swag from Target, my little chairs. So then I was so impressed and happy that I called my neighbor over to see. So that's what I think you should do. Be grateful that you've gotten something small accomplished. Don't feel like you have to do everything at once. Maybe you're gonna go for a walk. Maybe you're gonna go take a class. Do little baby steps to get yourself back into your fitness. Um, whether you're lapsed or whether you've been busy, whether you've been sick, injured, you had a baby, all kinds of reasons can keep you away from your fitness, but don't be afraid to come back a little bit at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something. You know, I have a lot more work to do here, but this has yet to be touched. Not really looking forward to it. This is gonna take, let's just say, a lot of 10 minutes, a lot, lot of little 10 minuteses. So I'm not gonna get overwhelmed. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna do it bit by bit. And that's exactly what you should do with your fitness. You're gonna do a little bit at a time. It'll make you stronger, it'll make you happy. Set small goals, then you're gonna be happy with what you've, what you've gotten done, and then you're gonna keep going. That's the whole point. So, and maybe you can clean out your garage too. Read the, read the post, I'll give you some more interesting tidbits in there, and see you next time.